Hello everyone, welcome to my YouTube channel Physiology Learning. I am Dr. Ram. Today in this explain why series, we are going to understand why polycythema happens in high altitude. High altitude is suppose a person is climbing up to the uh, Himalayas or any hills, uh, any high hills, then he might have the chances of developing polycythemia. Let us try to understand how this process is happening. Suppose somebody is climbing a very high hill mountains like this, what will happen? There will be hypoxia all over the body. This hypoxia will be especially sensed in the renal system. It will produce renal hypoxia. This renal hypoxia in turn will produce a substance which is the most important thing for this polycythemia that is hypoxia inducible factor 1. It is called as HIF1. This hypoxia inducible factor is the most important factor that is responsible for this polycythemia. Once hypoxia inducible factor is induced, what will happen is it will go and bind to the hypoxia response element. There is an element in the erythropoietin gene that is hypoxia response element. This hypoxia responsible element response element will then stimulate the erythropoietin production. This erythropoietin production is stimulated and this can directly go and stimulate the proerythroblasts. Proerythroblasts means precursor cells of the RBCs. When precursor cells of the RBCs are going to be stimulated, that is going to increase the RBC levels and this is going to develop polycythemia in high altitude. So, the most specific and important reason is the production of hypoxia inducible factor which in turn is producing the substance that is erythropoietin which is in turn is producing the substance erythropoietin and it is going to stimulate the rbc production there is one another reason that is also contributing to the polycythemia but it is a minor reason wherein hypoxia will cause respiratory alkalosis whenever a person is hypoxia he will go for hyperventilation ventilation whenever hyperventilation is happening what will happen is more and more co2 is thrown out this co2 is thrown out more and more is thrown out so what will happen it will lead to mild respiratory alkalosis this mild respiratory alkalosis is supposed to have a stimulatory effect on the erythropoietin directly it is having a stimulatory effect on the erythropoietin directly and erythropoietin is going to increase the RBC and this is going to increase the circulating RBC causing polycythemia. A little bit add on on erythropoietin. Erythropoietin is it is a most exclusively produced in the kidneys but it is also present in the brain. In the brain it has a protective effect against the damage triggered by the hypoxia. So the body has a backup mechanism in brain with the help of erythropoietin to avoid the severe hypoxia. It is also produced by the uterus wherein it is having a mild estrogen dependent angiogenesis. Uterus is one organ where there might be a severe need for angiogenesis during pregnancy. So, this erythropoietin is stimulating that process also. Hope it is clear. Thank you for watching the video. If you have any doubts, drop it in the comment section. I will be happy to make a video on it. Thank you.